What is up guys, it is Don Angelo Vlogs on YouTube and today, welcome to another video! So guys, welcome to a video that has literally nothing to do with the content what I usually do in this channel. Nah guys, I'm just joking. But today guys, I am going to be reacting to the Miss Universe Philippines 2020. Now, I've already made a Miss Universe video back in 2019 and I was like, why not do another one? So the pageant starts at 9am, it's currently 8.45, so I gotta get ready. And also guys, me and my friend Rose are going to be reacting to the pageant, so this is going to be fun. Alright guys, enough talking, let's get on with today's video. Alright guys, now let's start with the reaction video, so holy crap, the intro is so good. I think this- okay, so the intro is like the remix version of Mabuhai, which is a- which is a opening number to the previous Miss Universe. In 1994 or 3 or something, I don't know. Going after your passion brings out the best kind of heart. She's none other than Miss Piran, Stan Ivy, Florida. Uh, okay. And her chosen right, charity stop. is the learners with special education needs of the Deaf Ed Division of Piran. Congratulations, Miss Skelly. You are now automatically into the top 16. From the first batch of candidates, aside from Miss Biliran, three women have made it into our top 16. Here we go. Starting with yeah. Miss Albay. Okay. okay, okay, I kinda have her. Okay. Miss Bohol! Yes. yes. Bohol, okay. It was okay, Bohol is already kind of obvious. I already had her in my like my top 15, but alright, I'm I'm just glad she made it in, so congratulations. And the last one from this batch, Miss Aglan, Christelle Abello. Yay! Alright, I know that she was gonna be in the top 15, so I'm just glad that she made it. From Cebu City. Yay! Yes, I am so glad that she made it. Tracy Perez, everybody. Yes. From Davao City. Uh -huh. Marina. Okay, Kavite. Okay, Kimberly yes, Hawkinson. yes. Already, I already had her in my favorites from the preliminary competition. So, all right. I'm just so glad that she also made it. So, congratulations. Congratulations. Also in the top 16 from Cebu Province. Yes. Yes. Joining the top 16, what? we have Miss Basamis Oriental. Caroline, Joy, Berlinia, from Mandawe. Yay! Yay, Rose, like a song you'd say, Rose. Nice. Here we go. From Pasig, Pasig. Rihanna, Agatha, Pangandian. All right. So we got to make it into the top 16 we have a chance to win that crown. Are you ready? Yeah! So, alright, next pack na Alright, guys, so today we have a very special guest. So, today we have Rose. Hi, Rose. Hello, guys. Alright, so Rose is from the previous video, if you guys saw it. Um, yeah. So, Rose, are you excited for this year's Miss Universe Philippines? So excited and let's enjoy the fashion. Yes, nice. Alright, all right, so Rose, so who is your best? 
For my best are Bohol, um, Cavite, Quezon City, and of course Cebu City. Alright, let's see who's gonna win. Alright guys, so this is now the opening speech round or something. So. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? You have 30 seconds. As a beauty queen, I know that I can be greater because we are a voice, a spokesperson to others. And as, as I stand in here, I know that I can really inspire someone, even just one person. And I know that that person can be greater, just like me, because I am standing here representing my province with pride. And I know someone will be inspired by the things that I do, and they will also do the same in the near future. And they will be greater also. Thank you. Thank you very much, Skelly. Okay. All right, here we go now with our right, second quite good. contender. Quite Hello good. there, uh, Miss Albay. It says here that you love babies, dogs, and dancing. Correct. Which one do you love the most? Why do you have to choose? I'll choose all three. Okay, that works for me too. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this is a uh, topic. It's not a question. You get 30 seconds to answer this or uh, give you comments on this. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Well, to do that, I was, it was about finding myself, to know, to know what I want to do in my life, to find my core values, and then from there, instill it to other people, to make them passionate, to know what you want to do in your life, in order to become greater, to become phenomenal for the universe. Thank you so much. Hi, that was Albay. quite simple. All right, our next it was straight to the point and it Bohol. was simple, so that's doing why well, it's... I'm doing good, thank you for asking. How about All right, Bohol, how are you guys? No one ever asked any questions. Well, I'm sorry, should I not have done that? It's okay, so I'll go ahead and read what you're supposed to comment on. All right, on let's see All what right. Bohol has to, to offer, this. so... Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Your time starts now. I can be a positive and lasting impact by being a role model, by embodying what it means to me to be greater. It is a constant struggle, it is a constant commitment to always work on being stronger, embracing my vulnerabilities, and knowing that I am the perfect version of my imperfect self, and empowering and enabling other girls, everyone, to feel the same way. Because we are greater in our own rights. Thank you so much, Miss Bohol. Alright, that was alright. That was just right, fantastic. That was, that, was a, that was that was that was an amazing that speech. That, it was literally that like clean. It was that has no. She didn't she didn't stutter a bit, so that was pretty cool. Throughout my journey, I have just like my sisters and I, we have all grown into the phenomenal woman that we are today. And I believe that with this journey and through this pageant that we have all grown to really um, to believe in ourselves and to have the confidence to really extend ourselves, not just in, for our community, but for the rest of the universe. And I believe that in order to make an impact to the rest of the universe, it is our responsibility to use our platform and to use our influence. Thank you. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Aklan Christelle Abelio. <laughs> All right, now we have Miss Iloilo City. People, I am a lecturer, and I've been pursuing this because this education had helped me to have the comfortable life that I and my family deserves. And I want to push people. I want to. Uh, I want them to achieve greater things in life through me. And I know with Miss Universe, anything is possible because I am a phenomenal woman with a heart of Thank you very much, yeah. Miss Mateo. City, Rebecca nice. Mateo. All right, next up we have Miss Cebu City, Tracy Maureen Perez. All right, guys, Cebu City up, so... Thank you so much for this opportunity. In order for me to be able to create a positive and lasting impact to the world, I would always use my experiences because that is the best possible way in order for me to be able to relate to people, to connect to people, relating with them through my experiences. I've lived a challenging life 
all throughout my life. And I know that a lot of people all over the world will be able to personally relate to my story. And if given this platform, I will be able to share that story to the world. Thank you. Nice. Thank you so much, Ms. Sibyl awesome. Sibyl, Marie Perez. All right, our next All right, that was also clean. That was also City, City, Eliza. Eliza. Nag-appeal ko dito sa pageant na gusto na ko ipakita ang tinuod na ako. Um, expected dito sa pageant na you have to be prim and proper and you have to speak in English. And karoon na mag-story ako ng Bisaya, gusto na ako na maghatag away sa mga nasa probinsya na kailangan nila mag-speak up para madungog sila mas ikong sa lingwahe ang gilahang gamitin. Lalo na karoon na kailangan na tatabangan ng mga babae sa mas kiasang lugar kayo. Maybe na sila sa ilang balay karoon o kailangan nila ang tabang, kailangan na ito sila madungog. Ang lingwahe ihatag na ito sila. Next up, yes. Mrs. Kavite, Kimberly, Billy Hackinson. Hello. Hi, good evening, Casey. Hi, you know what? Of everyone... I was a survivor of gender-based abuse. And without knowing it, maybe, so are you. And I am not here to just be a voice. I am here to amplify voices. Because we will not be silenced by fear anymore. We are here to be empowered by truth. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Cavite, Kimberly, Parkinson. Can I give an impact last thing in this world? I simply don't stop about my purpose because I myself is a positive person and I will continue my purpose and uplift each other and up to be beyond phenomenal to the other people. And I will continue to inspire many young little April Smith to continue their dreams and to achieve their goals in life because they can be beyond phenomenal. Thank you. Yes. Thank you very much, Cebu Province, April Smith. Alright, she right. speaks Next some clarity, she speaks with voice, That's what Carolina I really Carolina. like about Simple Province, so... Here is the statement, we need your opinion on this. I have always believed in the power of storytelling. I believe that we can be greater during this time when we share stories that inspires, that empowers, and encourages. Because when we share stories, we know better. And when we know better, we do better. And by that, we become greater. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Masamis Oriental, Caroline, Joy, and Veronilia. If there's something that I learned during the pandemic, it's time is constant, and there's nothing that you can do once time you've already constant. done the things that you can do today. One thing that I learned through all my life that my parents have also portrayed of me is that you can never, unless you go beyond what you have already mastered, you will never grow. This is something that we should take into account if we were to be conditioned for greater. Thank you. Thank nice. you very much, Ms. Mandawe City. The volleyball court was the first ever stage I walked on. And uh, I know that God is using me to share my passion for the sport to the younger generation. This is how I know that I am phenomenal and conditioned for greater. Because I want to instill in the youth qualities like faith, passion, hard work, and discipline because I stand here today as proof that these can help you achieve your dreams. And I am here to tell you to fight and never give up and be relentless in the pursuit of your dreams. Thank you. Nice. Thank you so much, Ms. Awesome. City, I was born and raised in a small town of Calatrava, Rulon, where life is simple and happy. But this global pandemic changed everything. It create chaos and lost millions of lives. But we Filipinos are resilient. And that's what I'm very proud of. And that is why I want to encourage everyone to keep continuing the Bayanihan spirit. Because that's what makes us Filipino. And I'm proud to say I am Filipino. Thank you so much, Ms. Lebron. All right, moving on to Ms. Pasig City. Proud to be a Filipino. She got up one with that answer. Being a Filipina and being a candidate of the first ever Miss Universe Philippines, I have went through a lot of challenges that shaped me to be who I am today. And I stand here representing everyone who has been overlooked and underestimated. I believe that everyone is everyone can be conditioned for greater if they believe in themselves and keep the faith and as I win this, uh, as I hopefully win this year. Thank you so right. much. Applause for Miss Pasig City. All right, Pasig City, also this good. Our last 
good try. It's it's a good try. One of the things that I've learned that is valuable is actually staying true to yourself and being as authentic as you can be no matter where you are. And that's something I learned as I went on in this journey. And I'm very thankful that I've been able to really realize that. I'm thankful that I am who I am today. I am thankful that I am able to show you all exactly who I am, and I can't wait to continue doing that and hopefully inspire more people to be themselves as well. Be proud of who you are, and that's the most that you can do for everybody. All right, that's all. Alright, that was quite simple, and everyone's was also quite inspiring, and I kind of like it. I like it. There you have it, our top 16 finalists expressing their most heartfelt thoughts. Alright guys, so that was the top 16 live interview or the opening speech segment, so... Alright Rose, so what do you think about the live interview thing? Um, yeah, same here because they really speak clarity and they also they really, they, Their work, I mean, in Safe. Uh, they really use their words precisely, and this, and, and surprisingly, they did not stutter at all. Like they were really prepared during the pageant, so that was quite surprising. So yeah, that's going to be up next. So yeah. That's quite an interesting thing to choice right there. They have like the feathers here. Ooh, alright. Ooh, alright, alright. That was quite a turn. Alright, yes, Mahal, alright, let's go. Alright, yeah, all right, now that was quite a turn. Quite a turn. Alright, she already knows what she's doing. Alright. Okay. Alright, I, I like a little like hair twirl over there. Like. Alright, she's already having fun with it, so that's what I quite like about her. Oh, sh oh crap! Oh my god! Okay then. Alright, the way she like set up her, like her, the thing. Alright, that was also clean. Province, Province, April, Nice, nice. Oh, Miss Sammy, 
I think they have like different types of swimsuits that, that they have to wear. So that was also that was, so it's, it's also quite a good selection that the that the candidates have a choice to wear the different kind of swimsuits. So that's what I like. Mandawe City! Mandawe, yes! <laughs> oh! Alright! Alright, that's a, that's a good turn, that's a good turn. Good turn right there. Nice pause there. Yes, let's go. Right, I'm gonna do it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's good, that's good. Very pretty. Beautiful. From Rome 1, Marie Faye Taharan. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, I like that. I like that turn. That was like a really casual, I, that was like a Miss Universe turn right there. Okay, nice. Passing City. That was the swimsuit competition and that was quite, I don't know, mind-blowing, that was so beautiful. Alright Rosa, what do you think about the swimsuit competition? The person that's pouring it sucks out is the Cebu province. I like her curves, I like her smile, the way she is. A lot of the girls really did well in the swimsuit competition, but... But obviously, there were also some standouts that really stood out in the entire swimsuit competition too. Yeah, I think for me, it also it was Cavite, Bohol, Asipo Province, Mandawe, and then si Yeah, they were also kind of my standouts too, so that was pretty good. Alright guys, so it's the evening gown competition, so I, have, I really didn't expect to be this early, so I thought it was going to be like a top 10 thing. So alright, that was that was good. This is pretty good that they that they have an evening gown for top 16. Alright. I'll buy. Okay, that was alright, beautiful gown. Nice color by the way. So it's like purple mixed with gray. Very, very elegant. Ooh. All right. Okay, that was okay. Beautiful blue gown Remi reminds me of Bia Mortska a little bit. <laughs> okay. Nice. All right. Bohol is really, really poised. Really elegant. Okay, a class. Okay, 
Um, Alright, beautiful gown. I really like the little slits right here. The gown and the gown. A little cape there. Ooh. Okay, that was a quite nice turn of the cape right there. Right there. <laughs> Okay, Ilo Ilo City. Alright, Ilo Ilo, so she's wearing a red gown. With a, also with a beautiful um, beautiful cape right there. Little thing. Hi, Sophie. Sophie! Hey, guys, it's Sophie. Alright, very elegant, beautiful. Tracy Maureen Perez. Yeah. Yes! Yeah. Alright, that was a right. uh, nice gown. Really, really simple. Um, really, really, really simple gown. Beautiful si silver. Okay, nice turn right there. Very classy. That's a very traditional Filipina gown. So, yeah. That's what I noticed. Hey, turn right there. Alright, Kavite everyone, let's go! Very unique um, green gown, I kind of, I also kind of like the, the little thing here. Alright guys, so my camera battery died for some reason, so alright, this is Cebu Province, really elegant, really traditional Filipina gown, yeah. Joy Veronilia, Misamis Oriental. Right. What a pretty um, casual gown. Okay, okay. Yes, and that white rose. Also a really, really unique and very casual gown, I can say. Okay. Alright, that gown actually kind of quite reminds me of Capriona, the little slits over here. Like the, they have like similar designs of Capriona's gown, so that's what I noticed. Yes! <laughs> nice! Alright guys, Michelle! Really elegant. Kinda also like the bottom of the dress. Yeah, really casual and really elegant at the same time. As I can say. Ooh, okay, I like the little um, slow turn right there. That can be a game changer. Hello, I like that little um, yellow or gold dress. Hey. Right, guys, Pasig City. A Pasig, perhaps. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anymore. Alright, this is Pas Pasig City. I kind of like the little capes there. I think it needs to do more work. Okay, okay. I like that. I like that too. Maria, Isabella, Ismael, Paranyake. Paranyake, everyone. Paranyake, Paranyake. Alright, blue gown. Really beautiful. Okay. Nice showcase. I really have nothing else to say, but just, just beautiful, very, very. Oh my God! 
All right, guys. So this is the top five announcements. So let's hope that my favorite contestants will proceed. From Chisholm City. Yeah. Let's go. Yay! Yeah. Also making it into the top five. Yeah. Congratulations, Kavite! Yeah! Alright, I had her in my top five, guys. So, I am really happy that she made it to the top five. That was... Congratulations to... Bohol! Yay! Yes, mi amor! From Bohol, Oh my god, I am just so happy that Pulin made it to the top 5. I was not really expecting, but... Ilo, Ilo City. Yes! Okay, okay. I had her in my top 5 too. Alright, I'm so happy. Oh my god, one gonna... Oh! Holy crap! Yay! Blue Gans, a word to all of the candidates who all did. All right, I had like three of my favorites in the top five, so I am pretty happy, satisfied. <laughs> okay, so that was the top five. So I am pretty happy that I got my favorites in the top five. So Rose, what do you think? I'm very happy. Oh my God. Yeah, like every single every single candidate from the pre preliminary who stood out actually made it to the top five. So I am very very happy. Yeah. So yeah. All right. So now we are gonna move on to the final Q and A. So I hope that all all of the contestants will do well, and then hopefully we'll crown a brand new Miss Universe Philippines. Ask all of our top five candidates to pick a number backstage. And we are going to start with you. So your first question is, if you are under strict quarantine and isolation, what is the most important mobile app for you and why? The most right, important that's quite an interesting app question. during this whole quarantine was my Bible. Having faith in the midst of this pandemic was very vital to me, not only for my mental health, but also for my sanity. It got me through the toughest of times. I was able to get through others through the toughest of times. And it kept me centered. And it kept me grounded. And that's the most important thing that I would need in a pandemic. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Are that was a quite interesting question. question. I did not expect. Yes, bring it on. All right, here it comes. All right. This nice. pandemic has made oh, there are multiple questions. Okay. priorities, essential and non-essential. Where do pageants stand in this time of crisis? Time okay. starts as we all know, pageants are a very, very inspiring. All right, nice. And now we move on to our next candidate from Cavite. All right, guys, Cavite, let's go. What advice will you give to a first-time voter for the 2022 elections? Time starts now. All right. We have fought long and hard for our right to suffrage. And this is not something that we should waste. Yes. For us to be able to complain and be able to appreciate the things that we have as Filipino citizens. She, she we really speaks with clarity. To, we have to participate in selecting our leaders. Thank yes. You. Thank you very much. Alright, All right, that was a smart and short and simple answer, so that was pretty good. This good pandemic job. has made okay. clear our priorities, essential or non-essential. Where do pageants stand in this time of crisis? I am someone who is usually an independent person. But because of this beauty pageant, I realized that I needed to ask for help. That I needed to reach out to people. And same goes for everyone else. To be able to survive something as big as this pandemic, altruism should be practiced and cooperation is always the key. Thank you. Yes. Thank you very much. Your first question, what factors influence you in deciding on what to buy or post online? The factors that help me decide that is basically what I want to put out there, what I want to show the world about myself, how I want to portray myself. What matters most is that we know who we are, 
that we are true to our authentic selves, and that we always try our best to show and share that to the rest of the world, and hopefully inspire them to do the same. Alright, thank you. Nice. Here is your second question. Second question. This pandemic has made clear our priorities. Right, I think that like, the final question is like a top three question where they ask the Pageants same question. So. In this time of that's a pretty interesting. That's a very I think unique concept. Pageants are now an amazing platform to show that not our not all our dreams are are cancelled. They're just put on hold. And for us, we're lucky that we're still able to make this one dream come true. To stand here, to spread hope, to rally people together in action and conversation, and spark change. And together, I'm sure, we can make a positive impact out there on this stage. That is the essence of beauty pageants in the time of the pandemic. Damn, that was so... Alright, she really stood out that for, that answer though. Rabia Mateo, if you could create a new paper currency with the image of any Filipino on it, dead or alive, who would it be and why? If I were given the chance, I want to use the face of Miriam Defensor Santiago. Yes. For those who don't know, she was an Ilonga, but what I admired about her is that she used her knowledge her voice to serve the country and I want to be somebody like her, somebody who puts her heart, her passion into action and after all, she is the best president that we never had. Yes. As a candidate, I know I'm not just the face of Ilo City, but I am here carrying hope and as a symbol of light in the darkest times. And as of the moment, I want to help my community. I want to use my strength to make an impact. And that is the essence of beauty pageant. It gives us the power to make a difference. Nice. All right, that was pretty, pretty good answer. Good answer. Yes, thank you. To a child who has never seen a pageant, how would you describe a beauty queen? Oh, wow. I would tell that child that a beauty queen is somebody who is, first and foremost, a human being. She's somebody that is proud of who she is, but most importantly, she's somebody that brings hope. When she wears that crown on her head, it's not just because she's the most beautiful girl in the room, but it's because she's the woman who inspires hope. She's the woman who inspires love and productivity and somebody being authentic. Okay. And a beauty queen is somebody that we should always look up to. Thank you. Thank right, you. she kind of like got, got lost a little bit on the last sentence, so that's okay. That's okay. In my experience with the pandemic and being in one of the most prestigious pageants in the Philippines, I have realized that pageants are something that can give Filipinos hope and it's something that can give Filipinos something to look forward to. It's something that we as Filipinos, as a pageant loving nation, it's something that we're so proud of. It's something that gives us life. And that's the relevance of what the pageant is. We help each other out, we help other people, and we help ourselves grow. We help each other prosper through any other aspect. Alright, good answer. Round of applause, Alright, so they give all of. Okay, so the ladies Thank gave you. their their best best of the answers. The okay, guys, so it's the moment that we've all been waiting for. It's the crowning moment, finally. All right, guys, so we'll Miss Universe Philippines have a deserve we'll crown a deserving candidate. We'll see. Miss Universe Philippines, please welcome last year's Miss Universe Philippines, Gazini. All right, Gazini Ganados, let's go. Final walk. Yeah. As I walk in the stage on last time, in front of my beloved people, while Gazini is really beautiful, on this incredible once in a lifetime journey. I would like yeah. To yeah. Yeah. Her dress is so unique and so so beautiful. That's all. That's all I can say. My team and trainers: Origin, Kagandahan Flores, Debu, and Manila, and Team Walter. Chorus and 
Yeah. Alright guys, I'm already getting nervous now. Our fourth runner-up is... Alright, here we go. Here we go. Ooh! Alright, alright. Okay, okay. Beautiful, beautiful. Congratulations. Cavite. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. What? What? Oh my god. Okay, that was alright. Congratulations, Bohan. The second runner up is. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Quezon City! Ooh! Quezon City. What? Oh my god. That was quite unexpected. Holy crap. This is it. Miss Universe Philippines 2020. Come on, B. We want something different. Something different. Someone different. Miss Ilo Ilo! Yeah! Let's go! Ilo Ilo, let's go! Yeah! Yeah! Great! Congratulations, Ilo Ilo. That was quite. That was literally the most unexpected crowning moment ever. <laughs> oh my god. Don't hurt, girl. Oh. Wow. Okay, that was quite quite deserving winner. Quite deserving. Well done, GG everyone. GG's. <laughs> Should I even say GG's in pageant? I don't know. Alright guys, so that is it for the Miss Universe Philippines competition. So Rose, what do you think about the winner, Ilo Ilo? Um Sunlight. Yeah. I've got a lot of women, but aside her, um, she really um, surprised me. Yeah. Um, but I think she really deserved it. I love the I love the way she answered the question. Yeah. And her last response to the question. Yeah, so true. And the budget overall, um, I was surprised too because there's a new way of how they, um, how they. Yeah, very nice. Okay, for all right for me, Ilo Ilo was quite an unexpected um, win for me because I was I was expecting other candidates because they were they were they were also still out as well. But I'm just so happy that they crowned a very smart and very elegant Miss Universe Philippines. All right, so thank you so much, Rose, for um, being with me today with watching the pageant. Because this is really quite a this is quite a turnout for the pageant. All right, guys. So that was the Miss Universe Philippines reaction commentary video. I really do hope you enjoy and congratulations to Ilo Ilo City for winning. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe to my channel for more videos every single week. Thanks for watching this video. See you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.